What is Lego Explorer? Well, apparently it's a new Lego magazine series. Hi and welcome back to Cut the Craggle. Today we're going to be looking at this new Lego Explorer magazine. Now this has actually been going for three issues as you can see here and I think it comes out on a monthly basis. I've been picking these up from my local supermarket and I haven't yet really had a chance to get stuck in and see what all this is about. So I thought, hey, why don't I do a video and we can have a look together. Now, first things first, these are done by Egmont, so not Immediate Media, the company behind the other Lego magazines like Ninjago and Lego City. These haven't been sent to me for free to review, I've just been picking these up off the shelf of my local supermarket. But I thought now, we're three issues in, it's about time I actually open the pages of these and have a look and see what is this all about? What is LEGO Explorer? So when we open up the first issue, we're greeted by Nina, who, as it turns out, is an actual LEGO designer and the person who created the LEGO robot that comes free with this Mac. There's a few pages that talk about some actual robots that exist in real life and the interesting things they're used for. You also get some brain teasers and there's a kind of pull out information sheet or fact poster I guess about the Lego robot Boost. I still say he looks like a rip off of Johnny Five to me. This thing is also brimming with lots of building tips and it seems each issue will feature a different piece or element and show you different ways to use them in your builds. Pretty cool. At the back, you'll find the instructions for your free LEGO Robot Poly Bag, and there's even an idea of what else you could use the parts to make. The first thing I noticed when I opened issue 2 is that they had printed the wrong contents page. This is the exact same page that was in issue 1, it even has Ed the Robot, and all the stuff listed is from last issue. How did a mistake like that not get picked up and make it all the way through to print? Anyway, there's a cool little build suggestion here for a door hanger, and luckily I'm pleased to say that the rest of the mag is actually different, and not just a mistaken reprint of issue 1. There's some cool facts and pictures of different fish and other sea creatures, this issue's element is actually more a type of Lego piece, with it showcasing different ways to use clip pieces. There's a section showcasing photos of builds sent in by Rears of the Mag, and the pullout poster this time is about sharks, with what I think is the creator 3 and one shark set at the top. Lots of interesting facts there, and then there's also a section on submarines, and how they were invented and what they are used for in real life. You've got some more brain training puzzles, and then of course the instructions to this issue's build. Issue 3 is all about medieval life, and of course a big part of that is castles, so this might be one to pick up for any LEGO castle fans out there. There's actually quite a bit in here about the different features of real castles and why they were built, and then even a little bit about different types of siege weapons. You've got a funny little history quiz about some of the more bizarre aspects of medieval life. And then this bit was a little jarring for me, talking about how they built Assembly Square. Not sure what that has to do with medieval times, but there's some cool tips on how to build buildings I guess. The pullout poster has facts all about different real life castles across the world. I do have to complain though, because they have a heap of real life castles down the bottom here, but not one of them is from Wales. You get three from England, but none from Wales? If you'd like to see a real Welsh castle, check out my Hinside World Tour Wales video. I was pleasantly surprised to see the medieval market village get some love here though. It's a set I missed out on as it came out during my dark age, and has long been retired so it was very cool to see it pop up here. The featured element this issue is a 1x1 one one slope, also known as a cheese slope, which the magazine tells you can actually be used to represent cheese. Who'd have thought? And of course, at the back, 
you have the instructions for this issue's free poly bag. Let's take a look at those freebies all built up. So this is the first gift that came with issue one, Marvelous Machines. Apparently this little robot here is called Ed, and uh, he's pretty cool looking. I had a, quite a bit of fun putting this together. Don't get me wrong, it's nothing complex. This certainly isn't a 18 plus set, but yeah, it was quite cool. It was a lot more enjoyable than most poly bags I've built recently. So here's issue two's free little build poly bag. And this, I don't know the name of it because unfortunately the contents page of issue two somehow was a, uh, a repeat of issue one, unfortunately, and there was nothing. But he's basically a Lego squid or octopus. And he's pretty nifty. Um, it definitely wasn't as enjoyable build as the one in issue one because basically, for the most part, you had to just build eight of these uh, tentacles or legs. I do like the fact that the Technic pin, which is there to give this some articulation, also doubles as his eyes. So here's the little build that you get with issue 3, Medieval Life. Medieval Life! And uh, <laughs> I quite like this. Obviously it's meant to be a bit of a castle. Uh, obviously it's very, very small, but you can use your imagination. And I like what you have here, the window, like a shield motif, you've got a flag, a bit of foliage. And this then is meant to be like the battlements. Uh, you can move that around kind of on a hinge joint. I don't know if that was meant to be a play feature or if it was just how they had to do it to, uh, to get something there. You could stand a minifig there, though it'd be massively out of scale. And then the second part to this is this little siege weapon thing, which is basically a frying pan on a lever. Um, but what I found most amusing about this is that they give you free lots of um, ammunition. So you get like these black pieces, first of all, black studs, which are just meant to be, I guess, like cannonballs or rocks, and you fire them like so. Oh, wow, that one flying backwards as well. Um, <laughs> then you also get um, some trans orange ones, which are probably meant to be fire. So I'll brace this a little bit. There you go. <laughs> And then, you get poop. So, you know, it's a well-known fact that in medieval times, when they run out of cannonballs and fire during the sieges, that they would fire their poop at the enemies. So here is a turd cannonball. Overall, I've quite enjoyed looking at these new LEGO Explorer magazines. They're definitely geared more at the educational side of LEGO, incorporating learning with play. And that can only be a good thing. Obviously, I'm not the target audience here, so I didn't take away too much from that side, but I did have fun. And for 3 dollars I feel like they're worth it just for the little poly bag builds. Maybe not the squid one, but I definitely love building Ed the Robot, and the cast one was a lot of fun as well. The next issue is going to be out on January 13th, and we'll be exploring the rainforest, and we have this cute little frog build. I think I'm probably going to pick that up. Let me know if you would like me to do a video on it though, and uh, we'll see what happens. So, let me know what you think of these magazines in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video, and if you haven't already, be my hero, and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time. Laters!